Hey everybody, this is Becca. Thanks for watching my channel, Becca Town Sims. Today I'm showing you guys my entry into the YouTube of Horrors collab, which was hosted by Miss Unfortunate, and which is where you will vote on us simmers who are going to show you some spooky builds that have a spooky story to go along with them. So to vote, you just leave a comment with the number 1 through 10. Give me a 10. Give me a 10. 10, please. To tell us how well you think you did, and you can win a stuff pack. Rules are in the description below. So I want to tell you guys about my my thought process before I show you the build and it's it's short don't worry I'm just gonna talk like this a little bit okay so for the build I wanted to do something first I thought about doing a movie and then I thought oh let me do something let me do something related to history because I like history and Erin with a Y who's an amazing creator check her out if you don't already showed me this YouTube channel called the bros of decay and they basically go explore a lot of um abandoned places like abandoned mansions and chateau and and these really cool houses that were just like left to rot and a lot of them have a lot of furniture left over so i was watching that channel and i got really inspired to find out more about some of these places and see if any of them had a scary story behind them this is how i found out about the chateau d'Ancresson, which is an abandoned chateau in france i think you're gonna like it so let's take a look so like i said this build is based off of the chateau d'Ancresson, which is a manor house in france the manor was built over the ruins of an older medieval castle and the grand hall, the kitchen, the towers were all part of the original design. Uh, the estate underwent some major renovations in the 1700s and 1800s to update the facade and to make changes to the layout. Electricity was added in the 1930s but you'll see that the house still lacks modern conveniences and that it was left in an extreme state of decay by its last owners, Luc and Catherine Girard, who abandoned it along with all of their possessions over 30 years ago. They've since passed away and the estate was inherited by their oldest daughter Louise, who says that she has particular memories of the few years that she spent growing up in the house. Louise had said that as a child, she had a hard time sleeping in the upstairs bedroom. She remembers waking up some nights and thinking that she saw the face of a woman who was reaching out to her as if to shake her awake, crying and looking visibly distressed. Sometimes she thought she could hear sobbing and thumping coming from the attic in the tower. She also remembers seeing her younger brothers playing in the front gardens with two children that she didn't recognize, who she thought at first were their friends from the village, but when she got closer, seemed to have dirt-stained faces and strange clothing. The children would never come close when Louise was, ne was nearby and always seemed to disappear when she got nearer. Her brothers have said that they're too young to remember their mysterious companions. Louise also said of her time growing up in the castle that there was always a coolness in the air that never seemed to disappear. Her parents had been intent on renovating the chateau and had even updated the heating system and tried to repair the electricity, but nothing ever seemed to work correctly. Louise has said that the new heating system in fact led to a fire which caused her parents to have to uninstall it completely. Additionally, the electric, even after major repairs, seemed to easily become overcharged so that the family had to rely on candles and kerosene lamps using the electricity sparingly. Louise said she was happy when her family moved out and that she felt like a great weight had been lifted off of her chest when they returned to Paris after yet another fire that started by faulty wiring. Louise said that the same night that the fire started, she had thought she had seen a strange man in the great hall pacing in front of the fireplace with his head buried in his hands. When she told her parents, they thought that someone had snuck in and started the fire on purpose so that they immediately left. Her parents always talked about returning to continue to repair the estate, but they never did it. It wasn't until Louise was older that she began to have questions about the property and her childhood memories. When she looked into the property's history and the local records, talking to people in the village nearby, she found that there have been many incidents of tragedies at the estate, beginning with one in the 1700s during the French Revolution, when the noble family who lived there was evicted by a mob and executed in the front courtyard without trial. Post-revolution, the estate was held by the Très Mauvin family for decades until a murder that made national news at the time. In 1873, the owner of the estate, Charles Tremauvin, was found by servants in the Great Hall covered in blood. The servants restrained him and ran for help, noticing the terrible smell of black smoke in the fireplace. His two young children were found strangled in their beds, and what was left of his wife was in the fireplace. He confessed to the crime, saying that his wife had had an affair with a local soldier and that he didn't believe that the children had been his. He slid his own wrist in prison while awaiting trial. So what do you think? Could the Chateau d'Anglaiso be haunted by the ghosts of those who met violent ends there? Or was it all in the imagination of a young Louis Girard? Could there be other reasons the family never returned to the estate? The answer may surprise you. I made the whole thing up. Happy Halloween.